Hello YouTube, Flamingosone here. Today I want to show you automatic maze finding in vanilla Minecraft. So, let me just set a start location, and... So this is maze was actually generated by Seth Bling's maze filter. So thank you. It's MC Edit. Um, okay, so, I just placed two locations, the start and the end. So now if I click on start, it will generate this, this block. And this block, if I just jump down, I want to solve the maze, but and this block will go to the end. Almost there, and yeah. Once yeah. there, okay, so they just die. So you can actually set those two locations anywhere inside the maze, and it'll still go. So, say over here, so I'm gonna set this as the end, and the start is here. And so, if I click start, you can see, you can see the end there. And this block will find the shortest way to it. So, I'm actually going to show you one more example, then after I'll show you how it's done. So, I'm going to set the start here, and I'm going to set the end on this command block. So, if I start this, then... Now, why is it finishing the maze? Because I put a block right here, and the shortest way to get here is to go through the maze, around the maze, go up here, around here, and get to the command block. So, let's just watch it do that. So it's actually going around. I'll go up here, and it will find it. <laughs> so how this works is this book. Whenever I click on Set End, it will place a block right here, and this command block will just put this back to air, and this will execute all players, so it will summon a wither skull right where you are at a direction of nothing, so it'll just stay there just to basically keep that location. And to that first second location, you can't just put two wither skulls, so I needed a different entity, and that entity would actually be a silverfish. So this silverfish is actually one above, so this will execute all players. I'll summon a similar fish, one block above them, with no AI, so it can't move, it can't really respond to anything. Um, it's silent, so it doesn't really make any sounds. Um, that It also has invisibility on it, so you don't see it. And those particles are just these two command blocks and this set block clock. This one is all wither skulls have happy villager, that particle. And silverfish has the note particle. As you can see here, let me just do start and end. That's a happy villager. And then this is the note. Restart. Okay. This, okay, I'll actually explain this later, this command block. This is just a set block clock. Okay, so whenever you click on start, it places a redstone block here. This just sets it back to air. This fills here to here with the redstone block. So these two command block or these four command blocks get powered. These two just set it back to air. And 
So this summons a villager. Summons a villager. Um, okay. Doesn't have any AI. It has a gold block on its head. It is silent. It has a health of 3.5, so it only takes two hits with the zombie to kill it. The active effects are, it's just, um, invisible. So it's always invisible. Or not always, just that amount of time. Um, this summons a zombie in the same coordinate with a diamond block on its head. It's also silent. It, it does have an AI. Um, it, the movement speed is 2.27. So it goes a little bit slower than walking speed. And its follow range is 250. Um, the active effects, it's always invisible. And so, yeah. Though that location's actually inside here. So, they both get summoned in here. The zombie can hit the villager once. And then, it'll teleport the villager to the wither skull. And it will teleport the zombie to the silverfish. And then after, it'll just kill the wither skull and it'll kill the silverfish. So, since it has such a long follow range, since the zombie has a, such a long follow range, it will, it's 250, 250 blocks. So if it's 250 blocks away, the start and the end, it can still follow. And it'll always sh find the shortest path, because that's how, like, what, how zombies find villagers. So yeah, that's all, that's basically it. Leave a like if you under leave a like if you if you enjoyed the video. Comment what you want me to do next and bye.